You're watching Tim's Take Live, and I'm your host, Tim Black. So what'd you guys think about the Super Bowl? Come on. Come on, what'd you think? I know what I think. I think it was the worst play calling ever. How bad was that call? That call was so bad that there's a there's a there's a Puerto Rican dude right now in the Bronx. In the Bronx, and there's a woman walking about walking by in a pair of yoga pants with a nice ass, and he said, Hey yo mommy, I got hepatitis B. Wanna get pregnant? That's still a better call than the call the Seattle Seahawks made. <laughs> last night on the final play of the Super Bowl. Well, near final play. Yeah, that's what I think. That's what I think. And I know some people are very happy. And some people are very sad. And there's people like me who just need material. <laughs> that's what I got from it. So, man, look, hey, I, my, my prediction wasn't right, but I was almost right. I would have been right if there was, the fix wasn't in. And a lot of people saying there was a fix in. People are saying that, you know, Coach Curl got paid to make that bad call. And some people are saying it was all a conspiracy because they didn't want Marshawn Lynch to be the MVP. And if they had handed Marshawn Lynch the ball, he'd have ran it and scored a touchdown, obviously, and he would have been the MVP of the Super Bowl. And they couldn't have that. No, they wanted Russell Wilson to be the MVP. But he throws a pick. So I don't know, man. And, and there are other people, you know, I got a guy hit me on Twitter. He said, Tim, you know, the the NFL is is a staged act. It's like wrestling. It's like wrestling without pads or with the pads. It's football is wrestling with pads. All set up. It's all acting. It's choreography. Choreography. Anybody who lost money on the game, I feel sorry for you. You do not bet on anything you can't control the outcome on. Fuck that. Never do that. Never waste money on things that are out of your control. And, and football is one of those things out of your control. That's why I'll never bet on it. I bet on myself. I won't bet on what other people will do. Because you never know what other people will do. They have a bad day. They didn't get laid last night. They could be high. Um, um, a million things can happen. Somebody can have a coming out moment and just go crazy, ballistic, and crush all your odds. <laughs> Somebody's dog could die. Now they're depressed. They can't play. Somebody got VD, got the clap. Somebody got, you know, got a bad tax bill, getting out of it, got things on their minds. How could you put money on somebody else? I can't do it. And look, mm, besides, guys, look, look at it this way, the bright side of things. At least now we can shift our focus to things that really matter. Be okay. Because this is how we survive. The Walking Dead returns with new episodes this February. <laughs> That's right. Walking Dead starts Sunday with new episodes. So all you Seattle Seahawks fans who are still butthurt can walk it off with the Walking Dead. Get zombified. <laughs> Get over it, man. Sorry. Bad shit happens. It was a horrible call, but it's over. All you can do is go on, move on from here. 